references are very satisfactory, Mr. Holmes. Lord St. Simon was almost fulsome in his praise of your work. That was very kind of him. I have decided you are the correct person to undertake the recovery of my blue carbuncle. Uh, Lady Morka, I have been trying to explain. I cannot accept your commission. Nonsense. My time over this Christmas period will be completely occupied. Nonsense, Mr. Holmes. You will disengage yourself. The recovery of the jewel is of the utmost importance. Inspector Lestrade is in control of your case. I have no confidence in the ability of the police. <laughs> the inspector is perfectly capable of handling this matter. All he has done is to arrest some wretched workman. Then the case is virtually closed? It is not. The thief may be under lock and key, but the stone is still missing. It will be only a matter of time. I am led to believe you work efficiently and with success. Start immediately. We may name your own fee. <clears throat> I advise you to leave this affair in the hands of the police. I don't think you could have understood me, Mr. Holmes. I will pay a large sum, a very large sum, for the recovery of the gem. You will take the appointment. No, Lady Morka. You're impertinent, sir. I have given you my advice. You refuse to help me. The best facilities for tracing your jewel are in the hands of the Metropolitan Police. You are perverse, Mr. Holmes. In spite of the fact that I have decided you are the correct person to undertake this quest, you deliberately flout me. Now, why, sir? Your case is that of a sneak thief, Lady Morcar. There is not a single aspect of it which is of any interest to me. Good day, Lady Morcar. Ah, oh, Watson, all ready to leave? Yes. I hope your two days in the country will do you good. Uh, thank you. Mrs. But... Hudson has been warned not to expect you back until the 23rd. That is correct? Yes. Excellent. Uh, then you'll be able to accompany me to a recital in the afternoon of Christmas Eve? Eh? Oh, yes, yes, of course. But, Holmes, who was that lady who just left? Hmm? Oh, the Countess of Morcar. It is a light but interesting program. Do you see? She seemed very angry. Yes, she was. Is she a client? No. Ah, well, that no doubt explains her anger. Lady Morcar was unable to engage my interest. It was a dull and petty case. Besides, I would rather the strange Christmas was disturbed than mine. I shall get two tickets for that concert. Good heavens! Irene Adler. Mm. Holmes says she's going to sing at the Queen's Hall. I shall be interested to see if her musical talent is equal to her other powers. I'm told her tessitura is quite remarkable. I beg your pardon? 